Tell us about like uh, this new book that's out on our knees uh, and it's coming out at the end of September. Tell us about why a book and for a guy who writes lyrics, like all of a sudden you're like writing whole paragraphs. Like, let's Man, talk about that. Paragraphs are hard. Bob. <laughs> paragraphs are hard. It's like um, every you, word is spelled differently. It's crazy. Yeah. You, you said you, you don't, you know me about a songwriter, but you don't know me about a, like as an author. And I would say kind of the same thing still. I'm like, what am I doing putting out a book, Bob? I, 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 I sometimes I, it hits me like, am I, is this crazy? You know, but I, I feel God all over it. And he really uh, changed my heart and revitalized my heart in a huge way while I was going through this journey. And I just pray that, only pray that it does the same thing for people that grab it. But this book is called On Our Knees. And I have a song uh, that connected pretty widely, at least from, from my music. But in 2020, we released it. It's called Battle Belongs. And it kind of carries this faith, this anthem, like even though we don't, even though we see a mountain, some of the lyrics, like we see a mountain, but you already see it moved. You know, we see the cross, but you already see the empty grave. And it's just that kind of faith building fight song. And we, man, when we released that song in 2020, when people were just going through it, and including myself, um, I needed I needed a faith building song, a song to kind of rally around it. That's what it became in my family's life and my heart personally but then when we released it it was so amazing just within days and weeks to see how that song was being woven into people's stories and getting videos of people singing it by hospital beds and grave sites and, and in churches and online services it was just like it was really moving and even right then I kind of felt I felt I think God speaking to my heart is like like are you are you sing, when you sing the song do you sing it from the truest place possible and I kind of like shoved it aside and and then as, as we got back in rooms with people in 2021, we would sing this song and, and it just was a special thing. It felt like this God had something, he would breathe something special in this song because I would look out and the lyric was, when I fight, I fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. And know, I just look out and see the sea of hands and it just I could just sense the faith in the room. And sometimes that song would turn into just a prayer time, even in the middle of, a, of the concert and spontaneous, it wasn't planned. And and the whole time, just like, this is beautiful. And thank you, God. But also like, again, like this little thing, like, is this your go-to fight? Is this the way you fight, Phil? Like when you're not on stage and when you're not writing songs to go on records, like, is this true for you? I, I feel like I was asking myself that question, but maybe the Holy Spirit was too. And, and I just came to a place like, man, I, I want to sing this song with as much conviction and truth and honesty as possible. And, and I want to, I want to, I want to really believe in it, in the fact that the God, the God who loves me and cr creates worlds and throws stars into existence, he's, if he says he loves me and he says asking you to receive and all that stuff, then I want to live like it and I want to pray like it. Because if I'm really being honest, it's not my it's not my go to stance to say let's pray about it. <laughs> 